Welcome drama addicts to Dramaland Hub. Are you ready to delve into the mesmerizing realm of Chinese Xianxia dramas? If you've been craving epic tales of ancient legends, heroic battles, and mystical powers, then you're in for a treat. Today, we're bringing you an exhilarating countdown of the top 10 Chinese Xianxia drama list recommendations for 2024. Picture this, majestic landscapes, intricate costumes, and breathtaking visual effects transport you to a world where mortals and immortals collide in a battle for supremacy. These dramas are not just entertainment, they're immersive experiences that will whisk you away to fantastical realms filled with intrigue, danger, and magic. From legendary warriors wielding celestial swords to cunning sorcerers harnessing the elements, each drama on our list promises to captivate your imagination and leave you yearning for more. But fear not, we've sifted through the countless options to bring you only the creme de la creme of Xinxia storytelling. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer to the genre, grab your favorite snacks, cozy up in your comfiest spot, and prepare to be transported to a world where anything is possible. Coming on our list at number 10, we have the starry love. When the queen of the human world had twin girls, it was a double celebration for heaven and earth. One was Qing Kue, the sweet and gentle princess adored by everyone. The other was Yi Tan, sharp-witted and cunning, known for her intelligence. Qing Kue's goodness caught the eye of the gods, who promptly picked her to marry the heavenly prince. But poor Yi Tan faced ridicule and rejection from her own kind, until the gods decided she was perfect for the demon prince. With weddings on the horizon, fate decided to mix things up. Qing Kue and Yi Tan found themselves swapped between husbands, sparking unexpected romances. But trouble brewed in the realms, and their love and lives were at stake. Can these sisters untangle the mess fate has made and find peace? Find out in The Starry Love, a 2023 Chinese fantasy romance directed by Chu Yui Bun, based on the novel Star Falling into Sugar by Yi Du Jun Hua. It's the third chapter of The Honey Trilogy. Moving on to number 9, we have Sword and Fairy. Eugene Zhao and Yu Qi, residents of Wuyan village, shared a harmonious bond for three years, ignorant of each other's pasts. Together, they embarked on a journey to uncover their forgotten memories, encountering enigmatic events like the Qihuan holy sex uprising and the blood sacrifice of Lu Jiobeo. In the heat of battle against the sect, Yu Qi experiences a sudden resurgence of her suppressed memories and emotions. Their paths intersect with figures like Luo Mai Ming, Luo Zhaoyan, the ancient wolf demon Xian Qing, Gu Han Jiang, Ming Xiao, Zhu Shi Fang, and others, leading them closer to their true selves. Amidst the factions of the Zheng Wu Alliance, Qi Huan Holy Sect, Hung Tao Sect, and Yu Demon Clan, who truly pulls the strings? As the layers of deception unfold, they confront the possibility of sacrifice to rewrite their fates and reunite. Sword and Fairy is a 2023 Xian Xian drama with a star rating of about 7.6 and its season 2 said to have been released in January 2024. The first series contains 31 episodes with a 45 minutes duration per episode. Coming on at number 8, we have The Blue Whisper. Ji Yunhe, portrayed by Dilraba Dilmarat, a skilled and formidable demon master, possesses a rare and remarkable gift. With the ability to subdue any demon, Yin He is destined to wander the world, assisting those in need of her unique talents. However, stringent imperial laws have restricted her to the confines of Flower Valley. Trapped by the dark secrets that bind her to the valley, Yin He encounters an unexpected turn of events when she meets Chang Yi, played by Rin Jialuan, a merman brought to the valley by the ruthless Princess Shun, played by Guo Xiaoting. Princess Shun demands that Jin He bestow upon Chang Yi the ability to speak human language, acquire human legs, and swear unwavering loyalty. Expecting unquestioning obedience from Yin He, Princess Shun's orders force Yin He to seek assistance from her adopted brother and sworn adversary, Lin Hao Qing, played by Xiao Shunyao, a prospect she is reluctant to entertain. Moving on to number 7, we have Immortal Samsara. Yen Dan and her twin sister, Ji Shi, are the last descendants of the ancient tribe known as the Four Leaved Lotus. Yen Dan possesses a remarkable gift for healing through her vast knowledge of medicines. A century ago, they assumed human forms during the Queen Mother's Feast, but Yen Dan faced a profound challenge, a test of love. Her love for Lord Ying Yuan led her to spend the next 900 years grappling with the pain of trying to erase him from her heart, a steep price to pay. Enter UMO, a supportive presence in Yen Dan's life, who inspires her daily to engage in acts of kindness. As they combat evil, they cross paths with Tang Zhou, 
the Demon Hunter and the present reincarnation of Lord Ying Yuan. Together, they aid Tang Zhou in his mission to recover the four ancient artifacts, unraveling an even deeper mystery in the process. Will this trio manage to gather the necessary proof despite the perilous obstacles they face? Coming on at number 6, we have, The Journey of Chong Ziai. Following the demise of their king, Anailuan, the remaining members of the demon clan are forced to flee the immortal realm. Among the escapees is the king's daughter, Chong Zi, facing an uncertain future. However, her path takes an unexpected turn when the immortal Chu Bu Fu steps in to lend a hand. Grateful for his aid, Chong Zi is determined to repay his kindness by honing her skills at Nanhua. But fate has other plans, as the prophecies surrounding Chong Zi foretell a grim destiny. Rejected by Nanhua, Chong Zi is taken under the wing of the venerable Luoyin Fan as his sole disciple. Despite his promise to safeguard her, their promising journey takes a tragic turn thanks to the whims of fate. In a twist of fate, Chong Zi finds herself once again under the tutelage of the Honorable Yin Fan in her next life. But destiny seems intent on thwarting their bond at every turn. With the odds stacked against them, can these star-crossed lovers rewrite their destinies once and for all? This series contains 40 episodes. Stepping on the spotlight at number 5, we have, Till the End of the Moon. In a bid to rescue a world oppressed by Tantai Jin, known as the Devil God, Li Susu, daughter of the leader of the Hongyang sect, embarks on a daring journey back in time 500 years. Taking a leap of faith, she inhabits the body of Yi Shiwu, the youngest daughter of the Yi family, aiming to prevent Tantai Jin, then held as a hostage prince of the Jing kingdom, from succumbing entirely to darkness and becoming the feared devil god. However, to her astonishment, she discovers that Tantai Jin is actually Yi Shiwu's husband, and as they spend time together, love blossoms between them. Ultimately, Li Susu makes the ultimate sacrifice to change Tantai Jin's fate and save the world. After her demise, Tantai Jin, grief stricken, spends 500 years searching for her spirit by the Nether River. At the brink of death, he is rescued by an immortal sect and becomes their disciple. After atoning for his past misdeeds, he is finally reunited with Li Susu, whom he deeply misses. But just as they are about to be reunited, Tantai Jin's inherently evil nature attracts conflict and chaos, putting the three parallel worlds at risk once more. Despite facing countless obstacles and misunderstandings, the two lovers finally come together, their hearts united. With one ascending to divinity and the other embracing their demonic essence, they successfully avert disaster and save the world from annihilation. Moving on to number 4, we have, Different Princess. Different Princess tells the story of an eccentric writer Hua Chinga, a female author who gets sucked into her own story. Rather a protagonist she assumed the guise of a secondary character bound for misfortune and doom. Armed with her script and a truckload of determination, she's all set to shake things up. But guess what? The fiction has other plans for her. Instead of taking the story by storm, she gets tangled in a messy web of love and hate with none other than Ji Chu. The cold-blooded prince who mind is dead set in revenge for his late mother, Different Princess is 2023 Chinese fantasy drama with 36 episodes and a duration of 30 minutes. Coming on at number 3, we have, Lost You Forever. Once upon a time in the realm of Daihuang, there were three distinct kingdoms, Xi'an, Qinlong, and Haoling. Amidst the turmoil, Xi'an and Qinlong found themselves locked in a bitter conflict, with General Qi Chen leading the charge for Qinlong. But just when things seemed dire, a twist of fate unfolded. The daughter of Xi'an's emperor was thrust into the fray, assuming the role of the general princess. In a daring move, she vanquished General Qi Chen, altering the course of the war. However, victory came at a steep price, her own life. Left behind were her two wards, her daughter, affectionately known as Xiao Yao, and her nephew, Sang Xian. Bereft of parental guidance, they clung to each other for support. But tragedy struck once more when Xiao Yao was whisked away to Jade Mountain, tearing the siblings apart. Enduring countless trials, Xiao Yao emerged transformed, both in gender and appearance, after three centuries. Now known as Wen Xiao Lu, she quietly tends to a modest clinic. Little does she know, fate has more surprises in store. A motley crew consisting of a loyal servant, a skilled winemaker, and a strategic demon advisor converge in the unassuming town of Qingxiwei. In this remote outpost beyond the reach of Xi'an and Haoliang's influence, their encounters will reshape the destiny of all Da Huang. Topping our list at number 2, 
we have, back from the brink. Following a lover's betrayal, the ancient dragon Tian Yao suffered severe wounds and profound heartbreak. Betrayed by the woman he once cherished, she mutilated him, stripped him of his dragon scales, and scattered his body parts across five different locations before sealing them away. Miraculously, his soul managed to escape. Now reborn, he crosses paths with Yen Hui, who pledges to safeguard him as he seeks to reclaim his lost bones. Upon discovering a seal submerged within a lake, Tian Yao sees a glimmer of hope. Meeting Yen Hui, he finds renewed optimism, aware that she possesses the crucial heart protection scale capable of breaking the seal. Utilizing Yen Hui's assistance, Tian Yao endeavors to retrieve his stolen body fragments. Despite Yen Hui's initial plans for escape, her attempts falter. Unexpectedly, their connection deepens over time. Tian Yao admires Yen Hui's unwavering dedication to his rescue, while she values the profound bond they've forged. As Yen Hui delves deeper into her own origins, mysteries unravel before her. Finally the number one on our list today is the top Chinese Xianxian drama, we have, Love Between Fairy and Devil. Legend has it that Dongfang Ching Song, once a member of the Moon Tribe, traded his humanity for sinister power, morphing into a heartless beast. He wreaked havoc, toppling his own father and assuming control as the Moon Supreme. With an army of 100,000 at his back, he plunged realms into chaos, Xuyanshan, the ethereal fairy domain, Sanyan Si, home to the Moon Tribe, and Yunmeng Lake, a realm of mortals, all stood on the brink of destruction. In a bid to thwart Dongfang Ching Tsung's rampage, the inaugural god of war from Xuyanshan made the ultimate sacrifice, shattering her very essence. His army and essence were ensnared, his body entombed within Hout Yan Tower, bound by the unyielding Hout Yan Matrix. Yet, whispers warn of a looming peril, should his essence reunite with his corporeal form and he escapes his prison, calamity will once again descend upon the world. Only the elusive goddess of Shishan holds the key to averting this catastrophe, but she vanishes into thin air, leaving destiny hanging in the balance. Three millennia have passed since the valorous sacrifice of the inaugural god of war. Yet, tranquility was shattered when a ripple disturbed the serene Hout Yen matrix. Orchid, a humble and unassuming flower fairy of scant rank, stumbled into an unexpected twist of fate. Amidst aiding the fledgling god of war in bolstering the Matrix's defenses, she unwittingly found herself within the confines of Hout Yen Tower. There, she came face to face with none other than the notorious Moon Supreme himself. Their improbable meeting ignited a spark that set the wheels of destiny into motion once more. A cascade of unforeseen events unfurled threatening to reshape the very fabric of the world. Thanks for watching the top 10 Chinese Xianxia drama list recommendations. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. See you next time.